The nuclear disaster of Chernobyl certainly needs no introduction. The worst nuclear accident in history occurred in April of 1986. At 1.23 a.m., the fourth reactor's power levels surged, which led to a huge explosion releasing 50 tons of radioactive material into the atmosphere. Nearly 8.4 million residents of Belarus, Ukraine and Russia were exposed to the radioactive cloud. The surrounding area of Chernobyl was decimated, with some 350,000 people evacuated. Animals and wildlife had no escape route. However, nature has found a way to survive, and not just survive, it has started to thrive without human intervention. Incredibly, recent research is suggesting that the key to finally curing cancer may lie within the surrounding area. Out of the darkness, perhaps light begins to emerge. It's now almost 38 years since the disaster, and there are numerous remarkable reports that come from the area. From mutant animals to red forests, genetically altered dogs to cancer-resistant wolves, the devastating incident has created a totally unique environment to study, and some of the findings within the area are fascinating. Today, we explore the recent research surrounding wolves of the area that have actively mutated into a cancer-resistant species. Join us as we marvel at nature's way of fighting back. Could these wolves really hold the key to the human race finally defeating cancer? Welcome to Mysteries Retold. After the initial devastation of the Chernobyl disaster, a 1,000 square mile radius was put in place to stop humans entering as the radiation from the accident still poses a significant cancer risk. This, in most part, has been abided to. Naturally, however, wildlife has returned to the exclusion zone with various degrees of success. As is so often the case, without human intervention areas of the exclusion zone have become thriving ecosystems. Nature has found a way to survive and wildlife has followed, with communities of brown bears, wolves, lynx, bison, horses, moose, foxes, and many more being observed. This has prompted large-scale study of the truly unique landscape with investigations finding that the birds and small mammals of the area have increased antioxidants when compared with others of their species. This means they are able to neutralize the oxidative damage caused by the radioactive disaster. So are the animals of Chernobyl merely surviving or are they thriving? And what does that mean to us as humans? Well, recent research focusing on the wolves of Chernobyl suggests they have mutated into a cancer-resistant species. The grey wolves in question are consistently exposed to cancer-causing radiation, but researchers have found that part of their genetic information has grown resilient to it. This has brought new hope to scientists analysing the disease in humans. Dr. Kara Love, a biologist and ecotoxicologist from Princeton University, has been studying how generations of wolves have survived in such harsh radioactive conditions. In 2014, Dr. Love and her team visited Chernobyl and put radio collars on a number of wolves so their movements and behaviours could be monitored in real time. The collars would give accurate information as to the amount of radiation they were being exposed to. Blood samples were also taken. These blood samples could then be analysed to understand how the wolves' bodies were responding to such high levels of cancer causing radiation. It was found that this particular group of wolves are consistently exposed to levels of radiation six times over the legal safety limit for humans. Furthermore, Dr. Love discovered the wolves' immune systems had altered significantly. Their immune systems were now behaving similar to that of a human patient who was actively undergoing a cancer treatment, such as a radiation treatment. Even more significantly, she also discovered that their very genetic information had changed. It was now totally resilient to an increased cancer risk. Remember, genetic information is passed from generation to generation through inherited units of chemical information. This allows genetics to be maintained and linked as a relative or species. This species of grey wolf did not have cancer resistance before the Chernobyl accident, but now they do. Which means that they have actively evolved to combat their environment. Genetic variations can either arise from gene mutations or a natural process where genetic material is rearranged as a cell is getting ready to divide. Acquired mutations occur when a cell's DNA is damaged, radiation being a prime example. However, in this case, the mutation has had a survival effect on the wolves. Research into humans has found that cell mutations can typically increase cancer risk, not cure it. Dr. Love's work has now shifted to try and identify protective cell mutations that can increase the odds of surviving cancer 
or prevent it entirely. The logistics for the analysis of wolves in the area versus elsewhere are being put into place as Dr. Love and her team try and hone in on what the specifics of this life-saving mutilation really are. Nature has a fascinating way of fighting back, finding a way and thriving, particularly when it is left to its own accord. Not for the first time in human history, we may be looking at species of wolf and dog to, once again, help us out. After such devastation in Chernobyl, all caused by humans, it would be ironic that nature itself would reach out its hand and give us something back. There are many incredibly interesting facts, phenomena and stories surrounding Chernobyl from both the past and present. The evolution of cancer-resistant animals is one story that deserves to be closely monitored. Thank you for watching our video today. What do you make of these reports? Could the events in Chernobyl really provide a breakthrough in our search for a definitive cure for cancer? Or is this nothing more than interesting research? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you're enjoying our content, remember to subscribe. We have a huge range of videos on the channel. Smash that like button and we'll see you next time. And finally, remember folks, out of the darkness light will always emerge. Life will guide us and we will find a way. Good night.